do some therapy ASMR. But before we get started here, I just want to say I am not a licensed practitioner. I'm just a person that is here to hear your thoughts, your vents, anything you want to say. And I'm just here to um, give my opinion and hopefully it might help for you or to other people that are experiencing the same problem. But yeah, now we have a bunch of submissions that you guys sent out and I can't do every one of them because there's like over a hundred submissions and I choose some of these as like an example that people might other experience the same problem as well. So yeah, let's go on to question one here. I've been trying to help one of my friends, but he's refusing help even though he really needs it. What do I do? And it's be it's been concerning me. Okay, thank you for your question here. Um, I would say you really can't um, control people's actions. You can give them support. Only you can control yourself. It's really hard to control other people if they refuse to not listen to you or take your advice, then just let it be. But just let them know like, hey, I'm here for your support no matter what. I don't know how your friendship is going or how close you guys are, but I'll just, you know, give them your opinion of whatever you're trying to help out with and then just be there for, for moral support. But thank you for the question here. I've had to move away from home. I couldn't afford to live there, but I tried to stay as long as I could. I live in a new area now, but it's not the best place to live. I don't have anyone to talk to or hang out with. I'm trying to make friends here, but it's hard because the people out here are not friendliest. Needless to say, I'm extremely lonely and it's been bothering me. I just wish I had some people to talk to. Thank you for listening. Smiley face. Thank you for your submission here. Um, yeah, moving is very stressful when you go from one place to another, especially if you move to like a different state. But like, um, this is like the common question I get a lot. It's the loneliness. And I feel like everyone has that same experience where they feel lonely and they want to try to talk to someone or they just want someone to interact with and I feel like in today's world where social media is tough to like interact with other people and people are so isolated of interacting in the public it's um there's like many ways to like get out there and try to talk to people like join like a discord server of your state but maybe your state or your location doesn't have a lot of people nearby maybe join like a a group if you're like a streamer or you like asmr like other people anything with like the same interests or the same hobbies you have and like hang out with those type of people because I don't, I don't really have like a good advice for it but I feel like if you join parts of the group um it would definitely um get you out there and probably find a friend or two or many more the extreme loneliness that I have been experiencing and by choice too I do not know why, but I enjoy to be alone, and 
secluded from others. It can be bad for long-term health, the, I the isolation, but I feel happy. I just don't feel happy when it comes to coming back to people I do know. I don't want to feel or sound some awful empty person, but I get tired, bored of people, and I have feeling of wanting to run to return to the isolation. I don't know what there is to go off on this kind of information. I'm just glad the random chance to do this appeared at this hour. Thank you for reading that if you did. All right, thank you for your submission. I like this one because this is pretty much me as well. So you and I, we're like, we're alike. I like you already. <laughs> um, yeah, I get that where you're mostly like an introvert and you don't mind being alone, but you know, like it's bad if you just like stay isolated for so so long without interacting people but like we want that quality of like a conversation instead of like hey hey how are you good you good and then nothing happens like you message me hey just just say anything what's going on in your mind doesn't matter like what it is like, just say something about, like, whatever's coming through your mind. Like, for me, oh, do you know there's certain rocks that can skip through the pond or the lake much, much farther than the other rocks? And there's certain types of rocks that can, like, um, float way farther than the others and blah, blah, blah. Just, like, go on, a, like, a, a tangent or a rant. Or just like, just nonsense. Maybe they might be interested. Maybe it's like, oh wow, I didn't know. Thanks for the, thanks for the random fact or knowledge. But yeah, I definitely feel this um, type of way here. Um, I think it's just finding other people that you can connect with where when you meet someone in person and you just have deep conversations and you guys can talk for hours and hours without like running out of topics or ideas you know what I mean like it just clicks for you so I definitely recommend finding those types of people that that you can click with like you know like a there's like a word for it it's like the conversation is flowing like you're you're in sync with the other person you know what I mean but thank you for your question your submission everyone who I've talked to has grown so much they've gotten more popular they got more friends got the recognition they deserve but there's me who hasn't achieved anything yet I really wish people could see my growth as an artist and not be pushed away by my friends because I'm not popular Really appreciate you doing this, by the way. Don't force yourself to come up with the, the, with the best answer. All right, thank you for your submission. Um, I think the biggest thing is don't compare yourself to others. It's almost like you go home for Thanksgiving and you see like your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, like they're married, they have kids, they have a house. And then you're like, oh, what? What, what are you doing? What's, what's, how's your achievements going? Like, it's okay to take your time to get that, I guess, popularity that you're trying to go for or you're trying to like grow yourself as an artist. I think the best way is mostly um, with your art, like Deviant Art, Twitter, like mostly just market yourself out there like just have multiple platforms where you can get yourself out there and um, people can like see your art. That I think that's like the, my best option, my opinion for you. Like here's a, 
here's a here's like a like a not a scenario like a that's like a word for it but like imagine imagine the social medias was like different lakes okay and the people that see your art they're like fishes okay and your platform is like a boat okay and the art it's, it's like your fishing rod and the and the the bait. So the more art you do in different platforms and which is like different parts of the lake on your boat, and the fish can see the art. It is hard to see um, other people's art out there. Like try try Reddit, try like Instagram or try like drawing art on Twitch like the more you get out there the more eyes more fishes are gonna see that art and people are gonna like start supporting you of your artwork but yeah thank you for your question I kind of want to get off trans HRT been on it for four months and I think my endo doesn't know what she's doing. I am almost certain my hormones are unbalanced and I feel awful. So much brain fog. I just want to feel better. Sad face. Thank you for your submission. This one's kind of tough, but I work as a medical field in the neurology department and if you don't like your certain doctor, you can oh, you have the right to switch to a different doctor and um if you just want to get off of it just talk to your doctor about it unless you want to switch to a different doctor and talk about it because having a good relationship with your doctor um is very important especially if you don't like what he's like offering like say they give you medication and you don't like it or they or you feel like they're not listening then it gets to the part where it's like okay well i'm just gonna switch to a different doctor because some doctors like don't have good social interactions because they they spent a lot of time studying to get their medical degree but like if if they don't understand like how you feel i i feel like you should switch to a different doctor like switch to a different endo but if if there's not like much option i don't know maybe go to like a like a different hospital but that's just my opinion but the key is to have a like a good doctor that you can like they know how you feel and if it's not working for them, like, tell them. Thank you for your submission here. I've been struggling with feeling alone recently. I really need a relationship and every person I meet seems perfect until they aren't, so it's kind of a roller coaster of emotion. I want to care for people because making others feel good makes me happier, but it's hard when no one is there to care for. All right, thank you for your submission here. By the way, hopefully these answers are helping you guys in some way or shape or form, but obviously there's better answers on the internet, but I'm glad you guys get to share your your problems or situation, and hopefully other people are having the same issue as you are. So you're definitely not alone, but for this question here, the relationship um the re finding a relationship is pretty hard especially if you want to be committed in a relationship and I don't know how old you are I know like the like when you're in your mid 20s a lot of people want to commit to a relationship they want to like settle down or like hey I want to get married soon where if it's like teenage days, young adult kind of age, it's like 
they want to be in the relationship, but then they, like, they don't want to, and they just kind of, like, don't know what they want to do with their life or what path they want to go through. But I feel like if you want to get to, like, a relationship, I say find a friend that that had, like, an interest in you. Whether if you are, like, gay or straight or whatever. And if you guys want to be, like, entered to, like, a relationship, that's great. And then just kind of, like, work that relationship. Because, like, for example, my partner, she's, like, a best friend for me. And we live together and we have a great time. Always, like giggling, helping each other out from, like, tough times, like, and we're, like, we're, like, best friends, but, like, we're in a relationship, and we're excited to see how things go in the future, but, like, I, I say start with the friendship part that can work up into a relationship, because, obviously, you seem like a great person and you want to like give as much love and caring for like the other people so focus on that and don't focus on trying to find a relationship just just be yourself there's there'll probably be people that you might pass some like somewhere in your life and you want to be in like in a relationship with that person someday so, keep your hopes up. Thank you for your question. I'm 24 male, and six months ago I got my first boyfriend. First time dating anyone. And I had to break it off because I realized they were both kind of the per- you were both kind of the person that can't bring up harsh topics, even when it's things we really need to talk about. I'm not over him, but I know that things won't be better. I still talk to him as well because we're in the same friend group, but it's not making it easier. Alright, thank you for your question. Um, sorry that you're going through through this here. Um, I don't know how long were you guys dating, and it seems like anything you bring up harsh topics probably like some kind of topic that is hard to like talk to on a discord call or on a phone you know what I mean but like I I feel like you have to talk about it though that's the thing It's, it's kinda like when you're dating someone for so long and you 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 bring up like a oh do you want to have kids or when you want to get married but if they keep pushing it for months and months it's more like okay do you want to continue with this relationship because I'm not I'm already bringing another harsh topic of like do you see yourself in the future with me do you want to like be together like we need to be in sync one another and like has to know like everything like what they feel if they just bottle it up and not talk about it, it feels like the relationship won't last much longer. But, um, if they want to come back to the relationship, you it, you might as well have to, like, get through that little weird, harsh topics you want to talk about. Whatever topic it is, I'm, I'm actually curious what it is, but... Um, he needs to be open, or she needs to be open. Oh, no, is he? My, my bad. Yeah, he needs to be open about, uh, his feelings. And just talk, talk it out. Communication is definitely key for the relationship, though. Thank you for your submission. I recently decided to cut communications with the friend person I met and spent about a year knowing. My reason is I felt like I was the only one caring and trying with that relationship. 
and that my energy wasn't being reciprocated. I observed myself being too lenient with people, letting people leech off my patience and emotions, and orbiting around, in my opinion, downright deceivable. So I usually try to make the call and walk it off, but the doubt seems always there. And I'm being, am I being too selfish? Am I being rude? Disrespectful? If I expect others to align with my peace of mind and or convenience to be around? Thank you for your submission. Um, I'm glad we're getting a lot of like relationship um, issues here. Um, I do, f I do feel that way. I feel as I've been like in that situation before. I, I feel like other people have as well. Um, like if you put the effort and the time with this person in a relationship and the other person don't do the same, it's kind of like, do they care about being in the relationship? Cause they can like do like all the talk they want but they need to show the action of putting in the effort, hanging out with you, you know, being like the partner for you, you know what I mean? But even like in a, in a friendship kind of way, where it's like, if I'm the one reaching out to you and trying to make conversations and whatnot, and they're not putting the effort to like, the conversation on his on his end I feel like you should just <laughs> don't interact with that person much if you know what I mean um, I don't think you're that selfish or rude or anything cuz it's like if you're reaching out to someone I'm, I'm bringing this out again like if you're the one reaching out, starting the conversation first, and say, Oh, I've been busy, I've been dealing with some stuff, so I'm not talking much, but this person's not gonna talk to you, or like reach out to you, it kind of shows like, Oh, I, it seems like he doesn't really care much if I don't talk to him for a week, or two weeks, or a month. But, I think you um I think you're right at this po this moment. I don't think you're that rude about it. But thank you for your submission though. Hope things go out with you and your friend. Because of my social anxiety and insecurity as well as autism, I haven't been able to make a genuine connection with people when I just end up lonely and unable to figure out how to make friends or understand social interactions in general. Alright, thank you for your submission. Um, I know you're going to see a lot of things of being lonely, not have friends, and you're not the only one. I just want to let you, let you know, you are not the only one that's going through this. A lot of people, like millions, thousands or hundreds, like, experience the same problem you're going through. The social interaction, you can learn a lot more on YouTube or on the internet. Um, I think the best way, in my, my, um, my opinion about making friends is like a quote if you go looking to find friends you'll find very few but if you go looking to be a friend you'll find many that's like my quote so act like you're a friend to everybody that you meet you know what i mean like even if you met the person for the first time act like a friend because with your like the vibes, how nice you are to them, how you are, you know, friendly to them. Like, they think, like, oh, I kind of want to be this guy's friend. This guy's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, 
I wish there was like a social like conversation one on one or something like that to help people make friends with things to say and it's kind of like the previous um, question about how do I find friends is join communities whether if it's like uh, some streamer you watch on Twitch or some hobby you like like there's many many people that has the same interests or hobbies as you maybe like certain shows you like to watch like anime movies stuff like that you'll you'll find people all over and it's just out just reaching out there and interacting with people and i know a lot of people are scared to be like the first to say hey what's up how are you you know that kind of icebreaker conversation but if you have like a question of of like I don't know say oh I like your haircut where do you get it from or like how do you maintain it is your hair curly all the time do you dye your hair a lot like stuff like that where they'll have to say something like oh wow this person's interested of in me and I like to answer the questions. Basically, just ask a bunch of questions about the person. Like, if you want to get to know them, ask questions of like, do you have any fears? What do you like to do on your off days? Do you have pets? Stuff like that. And when people th like, when people ask questions about you, it feels like wow. This person's interested in me. I like talking to this person. So that's like sort of like my advice of social interactions. But thank you for your submission. Hopefully you make some friends in the future. Not enough people are talking about how important bats are. They literally do so much. Spreading seeds, eating bugs, even pollinating. I'm almost nev I almost never see these cuties talked about enough, and when I see them about talked about, it's usually about rabies. Not all bats have rabies, in fact most don't have it. Bats are my favorite animal and nothing is going to change that. They are super cool in my opinion and underrated. I just with the I just with they were wish they were recognized by more people for their awesomeness. I didn't know much about bats, but I like um, these random facts about, about bats. This is like a perfect example of the previous question. Like someone who has an interest of bats, you talk about bats, about eating bugs and spreading seeds and pollinating, like all that kind of stuff. Like that's interesting. Like talk about different types of bats where they like to do during the day or night that kind of stuff this is a perfect example and <laughs> i like i like your uh interest in bats i feel like people um should uh do watch some documentary of bats or find more bat personas out there i know a couple but I think we should have more bats furries out there, <laughs> but thank you for your submission. I've had to deal with the loss of my father for the past five months. I wasn't prepared for him to leave and I didn't even get to say goodbye. Every room that I'm in, I'm reminded of his absence and how quiet and empty the house is. Me and my mom can't seem to see each other at all due to the grief. The joy and activity in this house feels as if it had, that has died. I go to do things like dining out, which makes me feel good, but I have to come back to the same house and feel the negative atmosphere consume me and makes me feel like everything is meaningless. 
I feel like I have lost connection with the things I really enjoy, talking to my online friends and gaming. I only talk to my online friends, and I don't really do anything else with them. I am an online furry who has had very little personal experience. I got to meet some friends in person and see their suits once they were done, which was fun. They live far away, though. I want to experience more of this community, but I feel like I am limited. I don't have a group near me, and I don't really want to go alone to anything furry related. I now have to prepare to enter adult life since I applied for jobs, and I just can't seem to mentally prepare because I can't take the pace of change. I have struggled to learn easily and to feel like I may miss something that will have a long-term effect on me. I feel the urge to break down and cry more than I can more than I can negative onward to the new life that I have. I feel like if someone were to hug me and hold me tight, I would cry all my anguish out. It's a lot to deal with. I'm hoping to see a counselor for help. Thank you for listening. Alright, this is our last submission, and thank you guys for so much for all the submissions. I'm sorry I couldn't get to all of them, but this one's my personal favorite because I also lost my father in the past about like four years so far, and first of all, I'm sorry for your loss, and second, I... um do hope that you you and your mom your mom just um get much closer t- for each other cuz when my when my father died um we kind of like me and my family had like this whole like deep conversation with each other to you know be much closer and you know cuz you never know when people's time will come and that's like the last thing you're gonna you're gonna like remember um I do say um if you if you're like over 18 like 18 years or higher you already spent 90% of of your time with your parents that's what the stats say 90% 90% of your time of your life that you spend time with your parents is from when you're born till you're 18 and most people kind of like move out and have their own families and stuff and they'll st- still see their parents from time to time see them during the holidays and whatnot but like um I feel like you should um get yourself out there like talking to other um your to your furry friends and also give yourself some more time to um just go through the process like what are you gonna do like you know how to like reconnect with your friends and your your mom And I don't know how's your jobs going, or if you find a job or not. And and I know like being an adult is like very hard as well, because there's so many responsibilities you have to go through. And it's okay to cry. It's okay to be sad. And it's okay to be angry. And definitely, um, if you're seeing a counselor, that's great. And I do recommend people to have a counselor or therapist or whatever, like someone to talk to, like on a weekly or a monthly basis, because it it does help you mentally. I and I like to help people out with like my ASMR with stress or help them sleep better 
And sometimes people are good at solving problems, but they can't solve their own problems. So they have people to solve the problems for you. You know, it's okay if people help you out. Everyone's going through things. Everyone's going through problems. And you're not alone. And of course, like everyone's, not everyone, but most people are struggling through like something in their life, whether it's like a breakup, friendship, being alone, work-life balance, all that, everything. So I, I feel like just take one thing at a time and also try to reconnect with your friends because having a nice so, so, like a social support group can definitely help you out throughout your life help you go like help you go through those tough times but yeah thank you for your your question here all right thank you guys for all the commissions and all the submissions and the questions thank you guys so much and I just want to let you know that you're not alone okay so then we're gonna do some exercise some breathing and some stress relief okay but the first thing I'm gonna do is just give you a big hug okay do you mind if I give you a hug okay here feel better I'm glad all right so the first thing we're gonna do some breathing exercise you're gonna see my paw go up that's where you inhale and then when my paw goes down you exhale sounds good okay I'm gonna do it for a couple minutes a few minutes around there okay here we go. How's that? Much better? That's good. Okay, so the next um, exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna rub our nose. Doesn't matter if it's like the tip or on the side, you can use one hand, two hands, and I want you to focus on your nose and make sure you close your eyes, okay? All right. So, what I'm going to do is, is just touch your nose, okay, touch your nose, I want you to rub it in a circular motion, okay, do not, do not boop my snoot only your nose, okay, so we're going to do that exercise here, until I say stop, okay, alright. 
just relax. Keep those eyes closed. Just rub your nose slowly and gentle. Feel the touch of your finger to the nose. You can do it with one hand, two hands. You can do it on the tip of the nose. You can do it on the bridge of the nose. You can use two fingers around the nose. Just relax. Just keep rubbing your nose slowly. Okay, now stop. Good, good, good. Alright. Now. Now the next exercise we're going to do is we're going to rub our ears, okay? I have big ears, so you, it's, it's going to be hard for me to show it on camera. But what I want you to do is you grab, grab the, the ears with your thumb and your finger, okay? And just rub them. It could be like the top, the bottom, the whole ear if you want to. Just give your ear a nice massage. A nice ear massage, okay? And I'll tell you to stop. Feel the relaxation of your ears rub together with your fingers. Okay, now stop. All right. And then we're going to do one final step here, okay? And this is probably people's favorite. I want you to visualize petting me, okay? I'll put my head down. Just imagine just petting me, okay? Just, you can just like, do not boop the new assistant. You can pet the side of my fur, the top of my fur, my ears, the other fur, just visualize petting a wolf, okay? Imagine it's petting a dog, or a cat. Visualize petting a wolf. Okay, no more petting. Alright, how, how you feel right now? You feel better than before? I'm glad. Alright, we're done for the exercise here. But I just want to say, if you need any help, 
or any people to talk to. There's plenty of people out there that would love to hear what you want to say. Um, just find the community if you want to. Also, I'll drop my Discord link down below if you want to hang out with my community or talk to me if you want. But yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful night or a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.